One way that you can give your students information or write them lectures is to create a document right within Moodle that will open immediately when they click on it. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. We're going to click on Add a Resource. And you'll notice I've got two choices here. I could choose to compose a text page or compose a web page. I'm going to just quickly show you compose a text page. And it looks like this, and you can see that up at the top we've got a few tools for formatting our first little block of text. Um, but down at the bottom, where I can put my full text, I really don't have a lot of tools for formatting. I do have the option of changing it into the HTML format. So if you are comfortable writing HTML, you, you can do it that way. But frankly, there are very few reasons that you would want to choose to um, create a text document rather than a web page. So I'm going to go back and show you the web page option. And I'm going to choose Add a Resource, and this time I'll do Compose a Web Page. And you can see that this time I have um, my editing tools available in both boxes. So let's go ahead and just create something. I'll, I'll create a document called Creating Online Lectures. And I'm going to leave this top box empty. If you want a small amount of text to display um, and then a button to click to see the full text, you can start out up at the top and then put your full text at the bottom. But I generally just do the full text right from the start. So I'm going to scroll down here. Now one of the advantages is that you can really make a web page look nice. So I'll just put a title in here, Creating whoops, Online Lectures. And I can format that using the tools. So I'll just click on this little T and change my text color, maybe make it bold. I could change the size if I wanted to. And then I can just type in the text. So I can write a lecture right here by saying anything I want. So this is an example of an online lecture. This is a very short lecture. And of course I can highlight that font and switch it back to black, make it not bold, do anything I'd like. So I can format with just the standard formatting tools. If I'd like, I can insert an image. And that's this little button right here. So I'll click on that. And there are two different ways that I can insert an image. If I have a picture on my computer, I can go down to the bottom here and click on Browse and go find my picture. So I have a picture saved right here. I'll click Open, and I'm just going to upload that picture into my files. I can do it right here. There's the picture. I click on it, and it puts the URL up here in this line. I click OK. Oops, I have to put in alternate text. So I'm going to put Moodle logo here. That is so that people who um, are not cited will know when the, when the picture doesn't load, or when they can't see the picture, they'll know what it's a picture of that they're missing. So I click OK, and there's my little Moodle picture. If I click on it, I can, of course, resize it a bit, or I can center it just by clicking on the centering tool there. Now another option, if I have a picture that I found online, I can say Insert Image, like that. And notice I've got this image URL. I can go find a picture on the web. So let's go up here into Google Images. I've done a little search for Moodle images. And let's say I want this image. I click on it. And then I choose full, whoops, I don't do that one. Let's click on this one. And I say full size image. And when I've done that, it displays the image name up here in the URL box. And notice that it ends with PNG or JPG or GIF, but you need to have an image format listed at the end and then you know you're in the right place. So I'm just going to copy that address, go back to Moodle, and when I say insert image, I can now paste that address right in the address box, click OK, put my alternate text in again, 
and there is my second picture. All right, so I can add more text when I want. Let's say I would like to add a video. So I want to put a video into my lecture, and there's no link here for putting in a video. What I can do is switch into the um, HTML mode. So I'm going to go to YouTube right now, and I'm going to find a video. So I've found a video in YouTube that I would like to add, and I can choose to copy the embed code that is next to every video in YouTube. So I'll just highlight that and copy it. Now I'll go back to Moodle and I'm going to switch to the HTML code here. And now I've got that code in the background. So I'm going to stick a couple of breaks in so that we can see this below without it cramming the text. And all I need to do now is paste that embed code that I copied. So I'm just going to say paste. And now when I switch back to this mode, the toggle mode, it's going to go back into my view mode. Now for some reason in Moodle it doesn't show the video until after I save it. So let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to choose to display it in a new window, but you can, can do it whichever way you like. And I'm going to do save and display. And here is my web page, and notice now I have a video embedded right in it, and that video will play when I click the play button. Okay, let's close that. Now it's not centered, but when I go back in, I'll go back into my Moodle course and edit that window again. So when I edit this window again, it will show up this time. So when I scroll down now, you will see there's my video. If I want to move it and center it, I can click on it and click the centered button and that's going to center it in the window. It will disappear again, but when you save it and return, you'll see it. Now another thing that you can do in this window is to open up a full editor, which gives you a few more choices, and that's this button right here. When I click on it, I now have an enlarged editing window and notice that I now have all of the tools for creating tables and for formatting my tables um, like I would in any web editor. I'm not going to go over all of that now, but for those of you who have a little bit of web editing experience, you might want to go into this full editor to um, make your web page look nice. So I believe that is all I want to show you about this right now but you can play with it and see if you can design some nice websites that will open. Let's go back and I'll just show you here. I've now got this Creating Online Lectures link, and when I click on it, it automatically opens straight up in a new window and your students can read your lecture here, complete with pictures and video.